I was sent the script um, from Tom, and uh, I read it, and through an agent, I, I told Tom that I liked it, and we had a nice chat about it, and we knew right away that we were going to get along good. And action! Jimmy, it's so nice you can make it. You boys, sit down. Come on. I'm going to get you stuff. I think the essence of the story basically is, in, in, in a literal sense, I think teaching uh, a lesson to some, uh, to some people about, uh, about gays and about uh, how they're not stereotypical. Create a complex three-dimensional character that, you know, he had this incredible dichotomy and a lot of inner confusion and complexity and how that uh, things in life can turn around and, and, and surprise you, just like our story does. I said it's a nice night for fag fashion, huh? Oh, man, shoot the little bitches. No, I, I couldn't do that, honey, because if I did that, it wouldn't be a very good career move. But you know, I think after tonight, you're gonna remember the next time you decide to go out and fag bash, that sometimes fags bash back. A kid played by Miles Perlich in the film, who is uh, taught a very big lesson about um, gay bashing, and he's he's been taught this lesson in a very uh, unique way. I bet you thought I invited you here to fuck you in the ass. A, a very clear. Uh, communicative my character my character is a Chicago cop named Randazzo and he is gay in the closet gay and um, I don't want to tell too much of the story but they run into each other in a very odd circumstance and uh, that's when the lesson begins I apologize to all the fags in the world. Say it. I apologize to all the fags in the world. Fags Gay in the world. people. I'm sorry? I apologize to all the fags in the world. Say it. I, I, don't, I don't think I identify with the character very much in a personal way. I mean, I identify it in the point that the character is trying to get across. I think that that's enough to play a character. Michelangelo was gay, and he was a freaking genius. Say it! Michelangelo was gay and he was a freaking genius. And then you fill it in with all kinds of things about yourself and uh, suddenly you, be, you, be, you become close to the character in that way. But uh, originally, no, I'm, I'm not a cop. I never would not ever intend to be one. Not that I have anything against cops, but it's just not something I like, would want to do. It's always nice to have a cop come by. You know what they say. God, but they keeps the niggas away. Jesus. Yeah, well, I wish they wouldn't say that. Next time I'm in the boys' shower and some guy gets a woody, I'm gonna let it slide. Right up my ass. Say it. Right up my you get on your fucking knees. Get down. All right. Get down. Right. 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 Say it. Right. Fucking right. say it. Right on my ass. It's about a gay man who is not uh, who is in the closet. Was she a nice girl? Yeah, she was a nice girl. Yeah. yeah. Look at me. Is she a brunette. A blonde. <laughs> a blonde. Mm. Oh, she wouldn't have died. I don't care. I don't care. I want to meet her. His mother is completely unaware of this. And they live their life like that. Who is it? Who's there? It's me, Ma. Is that my boy? It's me, Ma. I, I, whatever you pause, I feel like, you know, I should scream out, and that's my problem. If, if, when you say a line, I'll say my line. When you say a line, no, I'll it's No, it's not, those aren't the lines. I want uh, the ending line. Ma, it's me already. Open the door, Ma. And I think that they will probably live their life like that until the mother passes. Who's this? 
kid that's invited over here? He's a kid from the neighborhood. From Cicero? Yeah, he's a little misguided. Well, what's his name? Jimmy Charantani. I knew Anunzio Charantani. Very funny guy. He was a good joke teller. Oh, but he he didn't have any kids. The cop gave him a jaywalking ticket. <laughs> no, it's the old lad so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think he could never say it to his mother himself. I knew your second cousin, Nunzio. I just want to say, until he became a fascist, he was a very funny guy. It's kind of a daring and, and f f uh, scary thing with a lot of fear in it. Come on! <laughs> it's kind of a kink in my character. That's funny. <laughs> I think that the only way this particular man can live his life is the way he's doing it, and that is keeping it, his uh, homosexuality uh, secret from his mother. There's a point where he almost forces the young man to tell his mother Ma, Jimmy wants to tell you something. What? It's about me. Yeah? What is it? Go ahead, tell her. Come on. Come on, tell her. Come on, tell her. Tell her, god damn it, you rat. Fuck, tell her! Tell her! Don't fucking tell her! Don't tell her now. You fuck! You tell her! We keep so much from our, 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 our parents. You want a cannoli? No. Very funny, all the way around. <laughs> Tom and I, we just click totally, and every word that comes out of Tom's mouth, I understand. Every word that comes out of mine, he seems to understand. We we approach it in a very kind of team effort, you know? He's got his ideas, I have my ideas. Uh, everything is in perfect sync, it has been. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love it. I think you can you watch her walk away and you just turn around. You know, and I think you can really play that out. Like you were sometimes last night, you were just thinking this through. It, it, it was so funny. We shot a scene. I think I think the scene was three pages, maybe four four pages of dialogue, and a very difficult scene with blocking, um, with six, seven, eight characters. And to finish a scene like that in, in, in one night is, is incredible. I mean, a scene like that would take two nights easy. But let's say you were in prison, and some big fucking guy like me said, you're going to be my boy, and I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Wouldn't you fucking plead with her and say, please pick somebody else? You know, because there's no way you can escape. This is like a prison. Now you tell your cousin Nunzio where I live, OK? And action. I'm gonna need that pot back. He was scary, but he was funny and it just it was an amazing performance. I got news for you, Jimmy boy. Bashing fags is not gonna stop you from becoming one. You gotta trust me. I tried. Damn. See ya.